heading off to the airport for my IOE. Let's go. Hey y'all, it's your girl Owen Frizz. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm getting ready right now for my very first flight for my IOE. So I'm about to just touch up some of my curls. These are curls from last night. I'm a little frizzy, so I my makeup is like the same every day maybe through this process i'll learn how to do makeup but i'm gonna finish getting ready and i'm going to meet my lead instructor at the gate um yeah i'll show you all from there so my first flight is going to be two legs i'm going to go i'm in chicago right now which is my base in case you didn't see my last video um so i'm at ord um i'm gonna be flying to minnesota today and then from minnesota to philly so just two legs today not too long i feel like that's a good like introductory type day because i don't think i'd want to do like four legs on my first day but I mean, if I had got it, I would have done it. So, I mean, whatever. But <laughs> um, I feel like how I have it set up is a good setup. So, yeah. And then even tomorrow, hopefully I can do a quick uh, travel vlog for you tomorrow um, in Philly. Because I'll have a late call time. So, either me and my crew maybe might like do lunch or something, which would be nice. Because um, this is really going to be my first time working with a crew. Um, so that would be nice to do and honestly we get in really late from all of our um, flights so like we won't really most times people like go out for dinner and things like that and we won't really have the chance to do that because we get in really late on all of our flights. I did pack a bunch of snacks at least and then went to sleep. I did have a late call time again today so um, I like ordered food and I only ate like not even half of it so the rest of it I packed up to come with me um, and I'll probably, I'm gonna eat some right now but earlier call time tomorrow so yeah. Um, right now my first leg this morning was kind of long but it went a lot smoother um not like it wasn't bad um so i'm starting to really get my flow down um 
pre-flight is so important, you know, and I kind of had my pre, I had my pre-flight down training really, and it shows. So I would say really make that something strong that you really have down, even in training, because um, it helps you once you're out here. up this video but I couldn't really do it until after it was said and done so I did pass my IOE so yay um that is officially over my very last leg of the very last day I ran into some issues with like booking and just like it was kind of weird um with me getting on my last flight and so um there was some there was like a little bit of confusion but it was sorted out and we were able to get out on time um you know take off and so it worked out fine um and i passed so your final two legs are your proficiency test your proficiency test um honestly don't get stuck on um like passing it because it's not like it's a computer test you know on those first couple of days ask every single question you might have your instructor is not an instructor because they hate new hires they're an instructor because they actually want you to have a good experience and a lot of them are new a lot of um the ioe instructors were just hired so some might be younger because of that my instructor this was her second time being an instructor and she i feel like she did great um so yeah i feel like there's a lot of people that probably just went through like their training even to be an instructor so it's it's so it's not hard y'all like honestly and that's what i've been telling y'all through all these videos like it doesn't have to be this hard thing once you're there i will say i feel like training was like 60 70 percent using learning and using things hopefully you never have to use in real life like emergency things evacuations you know things that happen maybe once in your career and then 30 to 40 percent of it is things you actually use day to day on the job and so there is i feel like a disconnect between training and your ioe and actually working the job not that i think that's a bad thing but i i did notice it for me at least and so i feel like when you're able to actually be performing like actually performing your ioe it just makes sense don't think of your ioe as this difficult thing that you're not going to pass you're going to pass your ioe it's not even something to worry about um so that's just kind of the words that i want to leave y'all with i have completed my first week of being a full-time flight attendant on reserve um and i'm going into my second week i will be doing a video uh next week talking about my first two weeks living on reserve and what that looks like if y'all are enjoying this becoming a flight attendant series please give me a subscribe right here a like comment and tell me if you have a cjo coming up um and thank you to all of the dms that i've gotten and if i've been able to answer your questions i might do a video like faqs because i have been getting some 
like repeated questions so maybe I'll do that let me know if you want me to do it below um, but I appreciate everyone that's reached out and said that my videos can help this is that's literally what I wanted was for these videos to be able to help every single one of y'all that's coming into it because there's so many more classes coming in this year so if there's anything y'all need to know um, you know just leave me a comment shoot me a DM and I'll try to do a video on it much love bye <laughs>